Hi folks, welcome to the shop. Today I want to talk about this Ego model 1804 chainsaw. It's Ego's chainsaw with an 18 inch bar. Um, now I'd done some research about a year, a little over a year ago, I was looking to get a smaller saw and I'd looked at uh, Project Farm YouTube channel and the Oz Tool Talk YouTube channel and looked at their uh, testing of chainsaws and in both of those tests, uh, uh, the Ego had ranked uh, in, in, in the top tier, uh, I think it was top three on the Oz Tool Talk and it might have been number one for Todd, he also liked the Echo chainsaw, but he said that the saw he felt like it needed a bigger battery. Well, he had tested the smaller chainsaw, the 16 inch bar chainsaw. Uh, the, like I said earlier, this is a larger chainsaw, the uh, 18 inch bar, uh, you can see here on the bar, it's the 1800 model series. And uh, the great thing is this saw comes with, uh, instead of the two and a half amp hour battery that he tested, it comes with a larger five amp hour battery. So it's gonna give you a lot more power, a lot longer run time. Um, and of course the saw, this saw is, um, 11,000 RPMs, uh, the smaller Ego chainsaw, the 16 inch bar version is 6,800 RPMs. Uh, Ego claims this saw is uh, the uh, equivalent of a 45 cc chainsaw. Now, since I got this saw, I've seen the Consumer Reports has ranked this saw number one uh, for cordless battery chainsaws. So uh, I thought I'd just go over it real quick today and uh, talk about my likes and dislikes of this saw. Now just going around the saw real quick, uh, as I mentioned, it is the 18 inch bar version of the saw. Uh, the bar and the chain are both made by Oregon. Uh, I like the fact that this larger saw, unlike the smaller 16 inch bar saw, has uh, actual metal spikes on it. Uh, I think a lot of these cordless chainsaws only have a plastic uh, front on it like this or you know, no spikes at all. So that was good to see on this saw. Um, this is of course where the bar oil goes in, the bar and chain oil. And one thing I like is that it has this translucent case cover. So, you know, you can see there as I tip it, the oil level shows. And that's important because you're not putting gas in this saw, so there's nothing to prompt you to put oil in. Uh, you might find yourself running the saw a little bit down to maybe 50%, uh, you take it home, recharge it, and all that activity, you haven't put any oil in. So it's something to be aware of is to, uh, to make sure that you uh, uh, change the oil. You could, you know, uh, damage your, your chain and bar, of course, if you don't. Um, another thing I like about the saw is uh, the brake, the chain brake. You can see that uh, it's, it's currently locked, it's pushed forward in the lock position. It shows you right here which lock position and what's not. If you're familiar with the chainsaw, you'll, you'll know about how that works. Um, another thing I liked about this, particularly this brake, is you know you can move this chain along here, right? Just like any chainsaw. But this brake is an actual manual brake. Right, it's a mechanical brake. It's not just electronic. So just like a, a real gas-powered chainsaw, uh, the brake uh, uh, locks that chain uh, in place, which is really important when you you have to consider the fact that you know this saw is is, is live. Right, with the batteries installed, it's hot. It's just like an idling gas-powered chainsaw. So it's important to have a manual brake on here and to keep it on the brake on. Uh, another thing. Let's see. What else do I like on it? It has, which it might appear to be a little bit gimmicky uh, at first, at first blush, but it has an LED light on the front uh, of this saw. And if you hit the button once, it gives you a dimmer setting. Hit it again, you get a brighter light. Uh, control is, is right back here. Uh, you can reach it from the back of the saw, or if you're holding the handle, the wraparound handle, you can hit the button there. Might seem gimmicky, but um, if you think about it, if you're working uh, in a situation where there's been some storm damage, uh, and you come home and there's a, a tree down on the road or in your driveway uh, or something down on your house, uh, all of a sudden this light has a real practical application. So I think given the fact that it has a battery on it, uh, it makes a lot of sense to put an LED light on it. It's not really much additional cost. So I think that was a smart move by Ego. Uh, another thing I like is the trigger. It's very natural to use this trigger. Your, your thumb, you know, naturally goes into the position to push in the safety switch and, uh, and then of course you can pull the trigger. So very natural, very easy to use. Uh, uh, I like this design. Some other saws have uh, uh, safety triggers that are you know, more awkward to use and, and just not as, uh, um, uh, as easy as this saw. Uh, of course I did mention that uh, it comes with the five, larger five amp hour battery. Uh, this battery has a uh, fuel gauge on it. Very important for a chainsaw. Uh, considering that you'll, you know, you might have this 
stored for a long period of time and, and get it out and need it to go right away, well, or you might run it for a while and need to check. Well, it tells you it's got uh, five lights on there. Each one represents 20% of the charge. Uh, so you can know if the tool is charged up. Uh, one thing I would suggest uh, is that if you're already in the Ego product line or, or you're thinking about it, let's say if this is your first product, I would suggest getting the Ego blower, their 650 CFM blower, because it's going to come with the same five amp hour battery. So then you'll have two. Uh, you'll have an extra battery to run, or if you already have the 650 CFM blower and you get the saw, you get an extra battery to use with your blower. So uh, it's, a, it's a good combo, uh, uh, you know, especially if you have a gas blower and you're thinking about replacing it. Um, the chain, like I said, the, the, the bar and chain are made by Oregon, and uh, it's good to have a second chain. I've, I've gotten one because, you know, it's quicker to change a chain than sharpen it if you happen to dull it for some reason. Uh, but you can cut the price in half by buying the chain, uh, the Oregon chain directly instead of buying the Ego branded chain. So this is the one here. I got it online, uh, again, about half the cost. So it's a good idea to go ahead and get that chain and, and, and have it. Uh, and I'll put something in the description there. It might make it easier to find that chain. Um, so yeah, it's, 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 it's been great. I've used it. I've cut trees that are, uh, uh, you know, I know some have been up to about uh, uh, 12 inches uh, in diameter, and it's cut those trees up no problem. The the, the base of the tree and, and, and the branches, uh, then that might consume an entire battery. That's why I say it's good to have an extra one, but it's worked really uh, great in those situations. Um, and it's, uh, uh, it's excellent for, you know, like I mentioned earlier, storm damage. Excellent for working on fences, whether you're building fence or repairing fence. It's nice that you're not constantly have to pull start the saw. Uh, and, uh, you know, for example, if you're uh, pruning trees, uh, uh, you know, it, it's, it's good in those situations too. Uh, uh, for example, I was cutting a tree that was overhanging a, a garage or a shop, and I had to, um, it was a large tree, um, and I had to cut down the branches while I was on the roof running the saw. And it was nice not to have a gas powered saw up there that I had to pull start on the roof, you know, and, uh, uh, and then when you're done making your cut, carefully cutting and pruning the trees so the branches don't fall on the roof, you have to put the saw down. Well, it's great when it's electric. I mean, you just run the, run the saw, you know, set it down, you know, use it on demand, just like you would any cordless power tool. So uh, it comes in very handy in, in those situations. Uh, now, the noise level is, uh, it's one of the louder outdoor power equipment tools that you can use from Ego. Uh, and it, you know, it's the, the sound of the, the chain in the bar, uh, but of course not nearly as loud as a, uh, a two cycle or two stroke engine in a, uh, a typical gas powered chainsaw. Uh, nice, uh, the plastic handle, this handle's very similar to the gas powered chainsaws that I have. I have a couple larger ones that I use. Uh, this handle's no different. Doesn't have any vibration or uh, shock absorption in it because you know it's an electric motor there's you don't have that two cycle engine vibrating in your hands um, uh, this saw is excellent also for someone who uh, maybe you're teaching your 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 son or daughter how to use a chainsaw or maybe your spouse is using it or your girlfriend your your aim you know it's it's, it's a saw that you know a chainsaw a typical gas chainsaw can create some anxiety for a new user uh, this uh, uh, there's a lot less anxiety with this saw because it is, uh, you know, you let off the trigger and it's quiet and it, it ramps up, you know, to speed. Uh, uh, so it's uh, uh, something great for someone who's just getting accustomed to chainsaws or who might be intimidated by a traditional chainsaw. Now, there are um, a lot of other uh, uh, good chainsaws out there on the market. Uh, now, uh, you know, Milwaukee and DeWalt make a good one, uh, but they are, uh, uh, those guys are limited uh, by the fact they're working with 20 volt batteries. One of the advantages that Ego has, you know, is that they're running a, uh, a 56 volt battery, right? So higher voltage. And just by comparison, I'll show a, uh, show you a Milwaukee battery here. You know, the, the tool companies are working with 20 volt batteries. Um, and these, both of these batteries are made up of 18650 cells. Um, so this Ego battery, for example, has 28 of these cells. Now, you wouldn't run the chainsaw on this particular uh, Milwaukee battery. Uh, you would run their 12 amp hour battery, which is a lot larger, but that 12 amp hour Milwaukee battery has 15 cells in it. So you're talking about almost twice as many cells in this large 
uh, 56 volt battery. So it makes it tough for uh, DeWalt and uh, Milwaukee to have a saw as powerful. I mean, we already know from regular power tools that you know you can get 12 volt power tools or 20 volt and that the 20 volts have more power. So uh, DeWalt has, I think, uh, since I bought the saw, DeWalt has come out with a 60 volt uh, or a flex volt, 60 volt saw that um, it'll be interesting to see how it tests. I'm sure it'll do really well um, because of its uh, higher uh, uh, capacity or higher voltage. Um, one other thing I want to show on here is the chain tensioner. Now, this is where I have, uh, there was a little bit of getting used to this. Uh, you can see it has this large knob on here and it's, uh, you know, it's something you, it's a toolless uh, uh, bar removal and, and tensioner. So that's, that has its appeal, I suppose. I would, I would not be opposed to having just regular bar nuts on here, uh, frankly. But, you know, if you back this off and keep turning it, you see it has a sort of a ratcheting sound that this cover will come off. And, of course, you can take the, the bar and chain off. If I tighten it, it'll tighten down. And this is where I'm never quite sure how tight to get it, you know. Uh, you know, how much to tighten this knob, but it auto tensions, it's supposed to auto tension itself, I think, as you operate it. Uh, you can check this every so often, I suppose. But one thing I've noticed is I feel like it keeps the chain tension more tightly than I typically would on a chainsaw. In fact, I found myself kind of messing with this knob and trying to get a little less tension on it so there's not too much stress on the bar and the chain. Uh, so that's something it that takes getting used to. But because they have this on here, this tool is, uh chain tensioner, uh, the bar, this is the part that I took some getting used to. I can show you here, the bar kind of wags up and down. All right, so that was definitely something different for me. So if you're cutting down through a piece of wood um, and then you, you know, on the top part, let's say you're cutting down on the bottom part of the chain and you cut up on the top part of the chain, you'll notice that wag as you're making that transition. And that caught me off guard at first and took some uh, getting used to because, you know, you don't have that with a, a traditional gas-powered chainsaw. But all in all, this, this chainsaw has worked really well. Uh, I've had no complaints. It's been excellent uh, in terms of, you know, hauling it in the truck a lot. I'll keep it there a lot because you don't have any gas smell. It, the oiler on this unit, you know, chainsaws, of course, have a bar oiler that's, oiler that's always uh, potentially seeping oil out. It's the nature of a, of a, a bar and chain oiler on a chainsaw. Uh, but this one, at first, did not put any excess oil out. After I ran it for a while, it seemed to, to have a little bit of oil seep out, but nothing major, nothing crazy, nothing that stuffing a shop towel up in here, uh, you know, to, to right underneath the uh, clutch cover didn't uh, take care of. So um, so it's easy to, to have this chainsaw with you uh, and uh, uh, makes it very handy uh, that you're, you're not dealing with two-stroke, uh, you know, gas and oil that uh, can go stagnant on you. But... Uh, uh, with that said, I, I just wanted to talk about this chainsaw today, tell the reasons that, that I liked it, and, 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 and explain how it's performed well and, and some of the pros and cons about it. So I would say if you already have some Ego power tools or outdoor power equipment, uh, you, you, you're going to be probably pretty, pretty pleased with how this chainsaw performs for you. It definitely replaces a small gas chainsaw for sure, no doubt about that. Um, now, it's not going to work in a production operation where you're, you know, cutting wood all day uh, unless you have a ton of batteries. I mean, in that case, of course, you're going to run gas, um, but it, it'll definitely, you know, uh, uh, take care of small jobs, smaller work. Um, and you'd be surprised how big uh, uh, of stuff you can cut, too, albeit it will take its toll on the battery. And that's why I mentioned it's a good idea to get a second battery. Um, but anyway, with that said, uh, please consider liking this video and subscribing. And uh, uh, if you uh, have a battery-powered chainsaw that you like uh, and prefer, and uh, please uh, uh, leave a comment and let me, uh, let me know why. Um, so thanks for joining us, and we'll see you on the next video.